This week's NorthJerseySports.com Game of the Week, showcased by Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall. Mention NorthJerseySports.com with any purchase and get a free chicken sandwich. Sports.com Multimedia Game of the Week. Showcased by Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall. North Jersey Sports.com Game of the Week. Showcased by Chick-fil-A at the Garden State Plaza Mall. is the Group 3 Girls Basketball Final between defending champ Middletown South and Old Pan, a rematch of the 2015 game. First quarter, the Golden Knights refused to get off to a slow start. First, by 11 trust Banks in the three. And on the other side, Kelsey McLaughlin with the steal and the pass up to Emily Gervani for the easy fast break layup. Old Pan up early 5 to nothing. With just over four minutes left in the first, Julia Balcos with the three in the corner. That'd be Middletown South's last basket of the first half. Second quarter, Old Pan up 13 to 5. McLaughlin hits the three from the wing. The lead is double digits. Next time down, Galen Sisma at the top of the key, and she hits a three. And with under 30 to go, Levin trust with the turnaround jumper. She had seven in the game. Golden Knights lead 23-5 at half. First possession of the third quarter for the Eagles, Stephanie Karsh with the drive in for the layup. Milltown South first basket since the four minute mark of the first. Now 36-15, Isla Brennan spots up the three, and she hits it. Timeout, Eagles trail by 18 now. Over the fourth quarter, Eagles only trail 37 to 29. Parks to Brennan. She hits the jumper on the baseline. It's only a two possession game. And with 90 seconds to go in the game, Ryan finds Sisman on the corner for the baseline jumper. 39 31. And then it was time for Kirbani to hit some free throws. And that's just what she did. Old Japan holds on to win the Group 3 title 47 to 36. have fun but it's not our team that's not our nature we're like kind of a gritty on edge team and to be kind of like a little loose and lackadaisical last year coming out to try and stay loose that didn't really prepare us for the moment you would think you want your kids loose but you know I was up their ass all the last two days in practice just like I mean they would have thought it was like the first day of practice and they but they knew we had any cuts uh, we were, I almost threw some kids out of the gym, <laughs> but it was all about just keeping an edge, and then and they knew it. I mean, it just, I told them from the beginning, like this ain't gonna be like some trick or, you know, just going down to enjoy the atmosphere. So it was a little bit different point of view from that. Like obviously, it meant a lot to us last year, but I feel like the meaning is so much more intensified this year. With we went through so much with two of our starters getting hurt, like that really took a toll on us. Just. Not even talent-wise, obviously it did. They were great players, but like team-wise too. We've been playing together for years at this point. Now we're all seniors, and that just kind of hurt our momentum. But I think that it just is a testament to who we are as a team that we're able to come back, get back here, and finally win it. You said that, you know when you have the best point guard, uh, you know that's that's around. Like you're always you're always in the lead. Like you always jump out, you're in the lead because you got give it the best hand on the kid that just got a boat and it's not going to quit. Put in her hands over anybody. Anymore. In the beginning of the year, I, I wanted to get back to play Middletown South so badly because I think that we, if we had more time and we didn't come out the way we did, I don't think we would have. We should have. We would. We know we could have beat them from that year, but I know that this was a good revenge and showing the team that who we really are. So um, I think I never really thought that. I never put it into perspective yeah. that we go to the tournament of champions, but just to be in there for my senior year, um, it's like it's amazing.
NorthJerseySports.com Athlete of the Week. You can nominate an athlete by tweeting at us, hashtag NJSAOTW, or emailing us at NJSAOTW at gmail.com.